Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kaka Shingura YouTube channel. Today is a Friday and I hope wherever you are, umeanza kupanjuka weekend. Kaka mimi sinanga weekend. Mimi, iki, hata kama ni Saturday, I must be here to update you. Hata kama ni eh, Sunday, I'm here to update you. Nyinyi munaenda weekend muna ni wacha hapa leo Friday. But if you want to give me something, kaka mimi zikunyangi black label. Mi na kunyo tusoda ya fanta ile ndogo. 50 shillings. <laughs> anyway. What do I mean? Kaka, when you are a public figure, what you wear speaks volumes. Right? What do I mean? If you are such a person who attracts attention from people, your dress code speaks volumes. Let me give you an example. Kaka, what if next time I come on this platform recording, nimeva atisha nimenduka fuck you. As an example, what will be the message? I'm speaking to masses, yes. I'm speaking to prominent people. I am speaking to the world. Nimekuja on camera, nimeva t-shirt. Proud speaking. Fuck you. What will be your thinking? Yeah? Or, for instance, nikuja hapa, nivae t-shirt, imandiko, I'm gay. And I'm recording. Proudly recording. What will be your thinking? So whatever we wear, especially public figures, speaks volumes. I want to lower this example that the president of the Republic of Kenya is Excellency William Samuel Ruto. In Kenya, we know bang is illegal. Yes, nyasore. In tena nimona Kuna jina wanatumianga ganja. Eh, jina amta ganja. Nyasore hiyo. Kwa kikisi tunaseme nyasore. Hiyo. Hiyo bang. Now, we know William Ruto is a Christian. Right? Or, maybe give, let me give you a simple example. If your pastor comes on Sunday on the pulpit, na meandika, taska shotimoja. Na anaubiri, anasoma bibiria. Mutasikiza yo mobili. Ama, let me give a prominent pastor in this country. Pastor Ezekiel Odero. Akuja siku moja ina crusade kasarani. Na amevaa t-shirt imandu kwa senator. Senator ile kinyuwa jile. Ama imandu kwa black label. Na kwa hapo wana ubiri. What will be? Fikira yako itakuwa inacheza nini? Definitely is promoting it. A public figure, once you wear a branded t-shirt, we assume, like now, umeona celebrities wakiva t-shirts za betting. Unona odd bet. Yeah? Unona multi bet. Sports pesa. So, celebrity akitoka kwa nyumba na ameva jamba ya odd bet. Amelipua kuiva for advertisement. Let me give you an example very commonly. A very common gets out of his house na ameva jamba ya sports pesa. Amelipwa kuiva. He is advertising that particular uh, gambling uh, company. Now, Ruto was seen in Lamu on the 27th of July 2023 na ameva shatingine funny. One, Ruto is a bishop. Sawa, tunamujua hivo. Number two, we all understand bang is illegal in this country. It has not been legalized. Mezika vila wajakoya na semanga. Bangi, bangi, bangi. So, he wants to legalize. Now, uh, William Ruto ametoka state house. Now, unajua, there's something you don't understand about the president. One, the clothes he wears that particular day is not his choice. It is from the designer. State House iko na designer mwenye anachagua present adavangu gani leo. On the discussion of the first lady and the president, wanasema iyo leo iko sawa. So when Ruto is wearing such a shirt, I want to assume the designer approved it. Mama Rachel first lady approved it. And Ruto himself approved it. Three people. Na iyo shirt imechoro nyasore. Matawi ya bang. Mwili muzima, imechorwa. Now, the president is getting out of the state house. Amevaa hiyo. 
It's not within status compound. Kwa sababu kaka huko nyumbani mimi naweza vaa t-shirt hata kama ni ya tuseme eh, ile kuna tule tuvest tumeandikwa majina fan fan naweza vaa ukipalilia ma, ma, maua. But then huyu amevaa shati ametoka status paka lamu in Mombasa. That is coast region. Ako kwa mativi zote Kenya na hiyo shati ana open government projects jana muliona news hiyo shati alikuwa ameva what is ruto advertising in this country definitely it's bang legalize hiyo kitu tumalize story ni amesema the president is ataya speaks volumes recently muliona akivaa kaunda suit hizo kaunda suit is a new design ruto tangu azali wa kenya jai va kaunda suit I've never seen it. Hata wakati wa campaign, even if when he was the deputy president, hata wakati alikuwa mbungu wa Eldoret North, there is no day Ruto was photographed in a kaunda suit. I have never seen it. So it's a new design, meaning Ruto is trying to find an identity as the president. Tunajua Moi alikuwa na kafimbo, an identity. Uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa anavaa kitenge, an identity. Now it's like Ruto is playing hide and seek to find an identity in the kaunda suit it was news all over just a president wearing a kaunda suit which has never worn is news all over internationally and nationally now ruta ameva shati ya ganja na ako proud nayo na imejora tumatawi za kuvuta hiyo kitu mtu wangu rais anajaribu kusema nini hiyo kitu ikubaliwe kenya watu waende na biashara ingine. yes definitely there is no shortcut in this when the president wore a shirt that is branded bang leaves it automatically tells kenyans the president has spoken in volumes hiyo kitu ikubaliwe kenya or maybe wako wanajua hii shati majore hiyo vituko let me assume so let me assume so or maybe we get a statement from Hussein Mohammed because he's the status spokesperson at Weleze aseme Kenyans no 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 don't read much in that shirt don't read too much it's just like any other shirt but for the president over your shirt on something that's okay let me give an example for homosexuality homosexuality in Kenya it's illegal that is it it, it it's when when you generalize it on sexuality nini yanizim na vitu zingine zote inakuja kwa lgbtq as we speak right now okay constitutionally it's not illegal but it's against our christian values because they say kenya is 90% christian so lgbtq it goes against our morals what we believe in when we were growing up now one day Mupata ruta amevaa shati imeandikwa LGBTQ. Ha! What were you thinking? Ruto has promoted LGBTQ. Even if it's not constitutionally illegal, it's not criminalized in Kenya. But mahali ulizaliwa wewe when you were brought up. It's not within your values. Zile ulilelewa. It's not within your morals. Sawa sawa? So wa Kenya jipange hii kitu inakuja nyumbani. Eh, vile naona ni kama wajakoya atafurahia very soon. But I'm telling you it will be so dangerous in this country to legalize such a thing. Now, um, according to Kenyans, when William Ruto's photo was posted on Twitter, Kenyans reacted and I want to read a few comments here. <coughs> and Budi alisema hiyo shati yako ya aloe vera ni mzuri sana. Ama ni saiso, top job. Robi Chacha The prints on the shirt could be hinting of something. Take a question mark. No, okay. To my own view, it could of course. Wale watu mmesomea mambo ya branding and public relations 
You know, when someone is advertising something, what he does, especially celebs, anaiva atuna anatembea. Hata semi jambo, anatembea anapiwa picha na na anapost. So, ruto kupiwa picha na hiyo shati, na anapost kwa kaunti zake, it depicts something is coming home. Africa Cobra. Anasema, when wajakoya is your stylist, eh, uyu naya nakuwa sarcastic yaje. So, kumanisha wajakoya ndi alishona yo shati. Wacheni wangwana. Anyway, <laughs> that is kind of for you, ladies and gentlemen. But just a reminder as I wind up, that uh, you need to remember, kwamba, the Kenya's economy has died. We can't say it's dying. It's, it has already died. Why? Just look at uh, the value of the Kenyan shilling against a dollar. It's retaining at about 150 shillings. It's historic. It's historic. You can never understand these things until you begin buying in US dollars in Kenya. Go and look at the value of the Kenyan shilling against the Ugandan shillings. It's historic. It is at 25 shillings. Historic. It has never gone that. But today, that's what it's retaining. Even Ugandans in Kenya are now running back to their country because shilling ya Kenya inaendelea kulingana na ya Tanzania. Ina ya Uganda. The same case, the Tanzanian shilling is almost gaining the same value with the Kenyan shilling. And you are proudly telling us you are healed an economy. We are dying. Not even we are dying. We are already dead. Tunangoja bari day. Anyway, God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. To the Misha Mani, wa Kenya to Sikobali kwa wanyo kwa misingi ya kisiasa. Kata, kata, kata. Sisi tunajua kabila moja nchini Kenya. Kabila moja ni gani? Sisi ni wa Kenya. Hilo ndilo kabila ni nalo lijua. Number two, mumesikia na siyasa wakisema, kabila fulani ni natupika vita. Wajaluo wanapiwa kale njini vita. Hakuna mtu wanapika kabila vita. Sisi tuko na vita na kabila moja hapa chini Kenya. Kabila moja hatari zaidi inaito the cost of living. Hilo nilo kabila tu peke yake Kenya hii. Tuko na vita nalo. Wale munasema oh, Luos should not live. Oh, kale nyo should vacate. Oh, nini ni, you are idiots. God bless you. Asadeni sana. I wish you a wonderful weekend.